make those easy, quick, healthy dish. It's all gonna be made in one pan. You're gonna see how healthy and how quick this can be. First, we're gonna sear some chicken breast that's been marinated in this pan. Hear that sound? That's what you wanna hear when your pan is at the right temperature. Gonna get a quick sear on these breasts. Get the fish green pan. Now it's important you don't want to crowd the pan because that will allow for your temperature to go down. And after those are seared, we're going to take them out and we're going to add our vegetables. This is just how quick and simple this is going to be. So a lot of times when we think healthy, we think, oh, well, it's not going to taste so good. You don't have to sacrifice flavor when you're trying to eat healthy. Things like aromatics like garlic and herbs, do not forget to use herbs. All of those add flavor without adding extra calories. And these vegetables here, I just cleaned out my refrigerator this morning. I didn't go to the store for anything. I actually had all of this on hand. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these vegetables, we'll keep just a mixture of vegetables. I have two pounds of squash, zucchini and yellow squash. I have some mushrooms, some red onions, and a red bell pepper here. And over here we have some asparagus, some very thin sliced carrots. Oh my goodness. And we also have some broccoli for red at the bottom of this. Okay, we're gonna put these vegetables in first because they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook. We have very small baby asparagus and really thinly sliced carrots, so we know they're not gonna take any time. But you know, we always wanna have that crunch on our broccoli, so that's why we're gonna add those items to the pan last. And we are going to turn these chicken breasts. We already got some good color on them. Okay. And then once you take the chicken breast out, we're going to saute that garlic a little bit. Then we're going to add this first set of vegetables. And we're going to let it get saute just a little bit because we're going to add some vegetable stock and we're going to allow all of it to stay in one pan. So we don't really have to saute the vegetables for a long time. Okay. And these breasts are being sliced really thin, so that's going to cut down on the cooking time as well. It also stresses your protein for your money. You get more protein for your money. And it also helps you with your portion size. If you, if you are watching your portion size, this is a good way to help you watch your portion size as well. This meal can easily be paired with some brown rice or maybe another salad, whatever you like. You know, um, a lot of times, I just eat this. I don't even need the brown rice. The vegetables and the chicken fill me up. But if you prefer to add some brown rice, or even like I said, another salad to this, that's your choice. Okay, we're gonna take these breasts out. And we're going to add a little bit of this garlic. Into this pan, just, 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 just a little bit. I'm gonna make those vegetables taste really, really, really good. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm sorry. I'm cooking this with some coconut oil. I'm gonna add some of these vegetables. I'm gonna just repeat just, just a little bit. You don't want that garlic to burn. Mmm, it smells so good. I'm gonna allow that to cook for just a little bit. Let me make sure this garlic does not burn in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this vegetable. This is a Okay. 
And now I'm just going to add some Himalayan pink salt. And some freshly ground black pepper. You can always taste the difference between the freshly ground and the regular stuff that we already buy ground in the, in the little box. This is worth it. Much better flavor. Now we're going to add our herbs. I have a mixture of thyme and rosemary and sage. Okay, we're going to add our chicken breast at this time. Back on top of the vegetables. And then I'm going to add just a few more herbs. flavor here guys. I can't wait for you to try this at home. Again, I need for you to like, subscribe, share, and rate this video. And tune in next time to Cooking with Chef Tracy.